You are human, and quite honestly, you are amazing. You can go to the moon. You can connect and communicate all around the world in a second. You can put the entire New York Public Library on a disc the size of a sandwich. You can inspire millions to move and improve. You can design things of beauty. You can create beautiful music. You can do anything, but in the end, who are you really? Well, for the most part, you are water. That's right, water. You are an average 70% water, so technically speaking, it's the 30% of the other stuff that makes us different, and of course our actions make us completely unique. So, we are left with this quite simple formula. U equals water plus the other stuff, all together multiplied by action. But how did you get here? And are you different than the previous U's? During the early part of the 1900s, life was simple. You lived, well, a more natural existence. Then something happened. You realized how smart you are and that you can make shiny, amazing things. Then you decided to invent more cool and amazing things. And every six months, you made even better ones. To satisfy this demand, you increased mining and drilling. And as you became more, you went deeper and further to find resources to make your shiny, amazing things. The fact is, there are now more of you and you are demanding more of the shiny, amazing things. Unfortunately, indirectly, you have put yourself in a precarious situation. That is, the 70% that makes you, you. Today, the once clean water sources you relied on are contaminated as a result of human activity. You intentionally add poison to tap water, and it is increasingly compromised by industrial and agricultural runoff. And because most cities' source water come from sources that are downstream from other communities, they are subject to many contaminants traditional water treatment facilities cannot filter. Okay, so, sometime in the early 1980s, you realized that tap water is not good for you, so you began to purchase bottled water. And like that, the bottled water industry grew from virtually nothing to a $90 billion industry. So, problem solved, right? Not quite. As it turned out, other used, like celebrities, contracted cancer and claimed its sources from chemicals that leach out from the plastic bottles. Truth is, most bottled water is tap water and is not federally tested or regulated for quality. With a little marketing, the bottled water companies figured out they can bottle water in a cheap, plastic, yet toxic bottle and sell it to you for over a dollar per liter. With material costs next to nothing, today, bottled water costs on average more than gasoline. Going one step further, you decided it's cool to drink unregulated water soaking in a plastic container that was shipped from some island in the South Pacific, Norway, and another faraway location. Aside from the health risks, bottled water is considered one of the biggest environmental problems we face today. Well, it seems you have trapped yourself. That's the bad news. The good news is that you're amazing. Let's face it. If you can go to the moon, you can fix the first problem and forget the second one, right? Right. And you did. Using your shiny, amazing technology and all the other brilliant things that make you human, you found a solution. So what is it? A system called Viking. So here is how it works. Using the most advanced filtration techniques available, you built this dynamic filtration system that can be located anywhere you are and connects to the local tap supply. Then, you added in a computer and laboratory-grade water sensor that monitors in real time and connects to an internet-based monitoring system. Your monitoring system then remotely monitors and controls all Viking filtration systems, guaranteeing water more pure than any available bottled water. You then decided to add electrolysis functions that raise the pH level of the water to generate the so-called cancer-fighting alkaline water. Next. You added an oxygen concentrator that infuses 95% pure oxygen into the water, producing the so-called performance oxygen water. You then realized that regardless where you are, you will still want access to the Viking network, so you integrated a digital key, which gives you access to any Viking system in the world. Now, with a brief moment in history, in your pursuit of all things shiny and amazing, you unknowingly created a problem of significant magnitude. Yet, in true form, you solved the problem with the very knowledge gained while creating it. Thrilled by your new solution, you demanded others to adopt your solution for you and for the planet. You are human. You are amazing.